Insta success are only done? Yes, yes, that is the oh, relationship. Okay. Okay. And uh, calendar assignment? Calendar is assigned in the beginning itself. Calendar. Okay, okay. Uh, no worries. Then, then next, resources. I, uh, resources no, no, added. no resources. Not yet started. Oh. Okay, so resources will be uh, our today's topic. Okay. Okay. So after that, it will be completed. Okay. Uh, okay, let me know when <coughs> should, uh, I think uh, participants are joining, right? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Two, I mean, three faculties are having any, I mean, classes today. Uh, they will join uh, later in later part of the session. Okay, so shall uh, we start now? Yes, ma'am. Shall we? Yeah, we can start now. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Yes, fine. Screen is visible, right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now resources. So resources, you can say resources we can define as an entity that is assigned to an activity uh, and is required to accomplish the task. Okay. So for example, see here you can see uh, there are some activities I have entered. This is another project. Okay. It may be different from yours. So here, this is the activity. And for each and every activity, there is a resource will be allocated. OK. So for example, see here, roof concreting. So roof concreting, there may be uh, a site supervisor needed, or equipment needed, or materials needed. So this man, material, and equipment is considered as resources. OK. So here in Primavera, uh, there are three types of resources which is labor, then non-labor, and material. OK, so yes. So how to add uh, resources? Go to enterprise. Here you can see the enterprise. Then here you can see resources. OK, you have to select that. And a new tab will appear. So I have already assigned some of the resources. For you, there may not be any resources available right now. So we have to add that. OK. So how will we add resources? Uh, one minute, OK. I think you have the workbook, uh, right, with you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Workbook. Okay. Uh, let me take that one minute. Mm. Okay, so this, these are some of the resources, okay. So we have to add these resources to our project. <coughs> so how will we add? Just go, first of all, you have to take the resources tab from enterprise, okay. So once you get this uh, tab, you can add the resources using this plus sign, okay, over the left side of the screen. I hope, I think, right side of the screen, I think you can see the screen, right? Yes, ma'am. So just add that. And here you will get an information like, well, in order to add a resource, the filter will be changed to display all resources. So here you can see, see in display, it, show, uh, it shows current project's resources. Okay. In order to uh, add that, we have to change this filter to all resources. Okay. You can simply add and click OK. And here you can see a new resources is there already. Okay. So you can use this arrow sign 
which is available in the right side of the screen ma'am ma'am uh, one second ma'am yes when i press on that add button it is asking like uh, resource id resource name a dialog box oh, okay 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 fine fine, fine. <coughs> because you are doing that first time right that's okay. why it is showing so in order to uh, i hope you remember how when we add the activity same box is uh, is appeared right yeah 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 yes ma'am activity yes. yeah yes so that is the uh, that uh, box that you are seeing right now is similar to the uh, that activity box okay we have to okay. enter it so it is very difficult for us to enter each and every tag right okay. so we can uh, just close this option so in order to do that go to edit i mean i can it. close this dialog box yes yes you can close it right now for the time being close it okay okay, okay. and here you can see user preference go to edit edit yes ma'am user preference yes ma'am and go to as, uh, assistance assistance and here you can see a small check, check mark there right use new resource wizard resource wizard yes ma'am it is already in check uh, ah, uncheck it uncheck it yes ma'am and close the visa and use a new activity visa that also we have to tick ma'am no 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 you have you can check uncheck both the oh, okay box. okay okay ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am uncheck okay. uncheck and close it okay now i can add ma'am yes now please try to add that yes it's use not asking process. yes ma'am yes now you can see a new resource is appear right um, ma'am uh, in user yes. interface you are why we are doing this ma'am uh, what is ah because uh, we have the, so many activities there right so okay, we yes. have to add we have to link the resources to yeah. particular activity then only we can see yes, whether yes. Uh, in construction please keep in mind about the construction idea okay so okay. in construction site we required manpower right uh, labor power uh, and equipment needed for completing an activity or uh, labor uh, as well as one more type is available that is this labor non labor and material okay, okay. for yes, example in order to do this block work and plastering i don't know what is the activity uh, you have there let me check that mm. uh, okay simple uh, building project is ma'am yes yes that is project start is there right for in order to start the project we may require some equipment for uh, Okay. Uh, it, sorry, yes, ma'am. Presentation. One minute. One minute. Okay. So let it be. Here you can see the component wall plaster. So we must need a supervisor for that, a labor for that. Then equipment will be needed. Some resources and equipment will be re, uh, needed, or and concrete, cement. Okay. So uh, cement, water, aggregates are needed for this particular thing. so that these all factors are considered as resources okay so in order to build this activity in order to create this activity what are the so uh, resources needed we have to keep in mind that things and we have to add those thing as resources okay once we have added these resources we have to link these things with the activity clear yes ma'am yes ma'am so based on the activity uh, we are going to add uh, uh, suitable resources in the resource yes. tab yes and then That's we are going to assign the resources to that particular activity in the here uh, in the uh, activity page yes right okay then we can uh, understand whether we require more uh, resources in site or there is any over allocation is uh, in the site okay why we are doing this because we can um, estimate the cost and we can reduce the cost which increase the productivity of the construction right yes ma'am so that is the overall purpose of prime vera we have we can uh, see the budget estimate budget and whether the project is cost effective or not okay so that that all things are linked with resources we are planning with start giving start date end date and uh, this relationship we can track the project okay we can uh, see how our work is uh, we can see the estimated finish date and all okay but using these resources we can estimate the budget of the particular project okay
so here i have added a new resources now what we have to do based on the uh, here you can see the id resource id resource name resource step we have to fill all this okay so in the workbook that you have given you can see there are so many resources are there you have to add this according to according to the workbook for example see first of all you can see arc is the resource code okay that means that architect so arc if i have given the code as arc then the resource name that is architect okay then it is lay resource tab is labor right so if it is uh, some maze um, cement yes cement or aggregate then you have to change the resource type to material okay if the uh, resource is tower crane or any other equipment truck then you can give it as known labor fine okay yes ma'am okay so this is architect now uh, i'm not going to this unit of measure means how we are measuring the uh, resource for labor we can only uh, measure it as one right so for example one labor if you require two architects you can give it as two okay so this unit of measure means uh, two numbers we are adding it as numbers right so that is the unit of measure that we have to mention here okay uh, so, whether we need to mention i mean the right no, no, no. Uh, i i am just uh, saying what is this that is the thing. unit of okay. measure means the measure is, for example for architects we will yes, be numbers or whatever we yes, yeah something but uh, for cement we will be uh, in Same the form thing. of bags right okay, how many okay. numbers bags so you have to keep in mind about that unit of measure that's the thing that is here okay. it's not necessary that we have to give it and here you can see the prime prime primary role which means that see for a particular activity for example here mm, uh okay so in handover you can see in handover we are assigning uh a so handover okay for piling and column works i'll be assigning site supervisor and also i need uh cement uh, uh, and aggregate okay so for that equipment okay so there are so many equipment for excavation are needed for this particular activity right so there uh, we are adding labor as well as non material non labor is also assigned for this particular activity right so here in resources primary role indicates to a man okay or labor will be the primary role if you are uh, assigning non labor for the same activity it will not be considered as primary role clear so basically yes, yes, we have three types of resources labor non labor and material these three resources can be assigned for a particular activity okay simultaneously we can assign these three activity uh, three resources for one acti uh, one activity but the primary role will be for the labor only okay so even if you are adding non material and material that will not be considered as primary role okay primary role will be for labor itself clear um, uh, can you assign uh, uh, labor material and non labor yes, yes, for yes. i i will labor. assign it once we finish this resources adding thing we will be connecting we will be linking these resources with activity don't worry yes, okay yes ma'am so let me add another Resources. So, what about the primary role and uh, maximum un default units for time? Primary role uh, that I have just mentioned. Primary role is only no, no, uh, labor. I mean, for me, it's uh, that, that is not displayed. Uh, oh, I no, should go no. to columns and customize. Yes, right? yes, right click and column and, um, and customize. That it is. Uh, one second, then. Yes. Yes. it is not mandatory that we have to uh, give that okay um, which one ma'am uh, one minute uh, you can right click and just select column uh, and yeah, i i selected that ma'am uh, which option we need to general in general please check general yes ma'am general please uh, scroll down and see whether the, that is available or not okay 
Mm. Okay, you can uh, use find also. Just find. drop this available option down, and there you can find. Okay, find. And just search primary row. Primary row is already there, ma'am. Uh, next to do that, uh, you have another set of uh, thing, right? Uh, what do you want? You price per unit. And uh, one more thing, you have uh, okay. Price per unit is there. And uh, one more thing. Uh, just check your workbook, okay? You only need. Uh, don't uh, see. Look this. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Understood, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Standard yeah. rate. I need standard rate. Standard rate, okay. Mm, standard rate is not here, eh? in general. Standard rate. Find... No more math is found. I think that is the old version. We are using the new version. That's why. Uh, okay. Maybe... So then price per unit is a standard rate. Huh? Uh, is it same or different? Huh? Uh, let... Yes, yes. That is price per unit is there. Okay. Price it per... is called uh, standard rate. Okay. Maximum units per time. No, no, price per unit. You can see the price per unit. Yes, 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 ma'am. Uh, what do you need? Mm, okay. Did you got that? Yes, ma'am. One second. Units per time. Prime table. Units. Yes, ma'am. Okay, add it. So I have created architect, a labor, and a maximum unit as I mean they given us two days. Yes, yes. So to... Just select that and write two day. Uh, no, ma'am, it's not able to edit. Whether I do. No, no. I I will show you how. Here you can see the detailed window, right? You cannot edit this thing here. Okay. If you want to edit, you have to come to the detail window down here. Okay. okay. There you can just select a resource, and here you can see uh, under units and price prices, you can see maximum unit per. Yes. Okay. Tab. You can you have to change from there. Okay. Okay. Price per unit. Price per unit is next to that. I. Okay, thousand. Okay, and what about that uh, dollar symbol, ma'am? How to change that into rupees? Uh... Uh, actually, in the beginning of the uh, project, we have set the rupees, right? Uh, when okay. we set the data configuration, database no, no, no. configuration. They didn't say it, I think. We database configuration. Database configuration. He never said anything about. Currency rupees. Ah, all right. Then okay. you can go to the edit. Uh, currencies. Ah, yeah. There is option like currencies, right? In the top. Y yes. Uh, make sure. Uh, please go to edit. edit. User preferences. Yes, ma'am. Currency, and check uh, what which currency US is there. US is there. US dollar. Is there. <laughs> Browse that. Okay. US dollar into uh, INR. Indian rupees. Show rupees symbol. Show digital. Okay. Yes, ma'am. It's changed. Okay. Now you can do your thing. Okay. Thousand per hour. Ma'am, uh, can we change into days per day? Yes, or? of course. Uh, edit. So user preferences, and there you can see the time units and dates unit. Uh, time units, dates. I mean, so, into date or uh, time units, ma'am. Time, time units. units. Go to time units. Okay. And there you can change for day. Um, uh, ma'am, it is asking units format and duration format like that. In what format we should use, and the Mary? Yes. We have to change the both units format to day. It is already in day. It's in day, ma'am. Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, one minute. Can I show your screen? Mm -hmm. uh, can I see your screen? Yes, 
ma'am. Okay, close that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now what do you want? I need to change that hours into days here, ma'am. Uh, price per unit, right? So, um, would you edit uh, your separate preference? Then, uh, please uh, come to currency. I want to see the currency format. It's Okay, time per unit. So, okay, shall I change this? Uh, um, no, no, the, no, it's that thing. Uh, please go to the dates. Yes, ma'am, date. Okay, uh, please close that. Okay. I think you can edit by manually, right? You, please edit, uh, change that to H to D. Oh. Okay, okay, it's changed. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So for overall, uh, if you want to change the overall price per unit, you have to come uh, i mean that uh, unit right unit preferences please check that is converted to day or that now it is clear um, uh, i mean for overall changes what do you said now we need to so for overall time units and dates you have to come to the user preferences otherwise okay. yes we are doing uh, the resources only one resources right so you okay. have to come to the detail window and change the price per unit r okay Okay. Uh, okay, so let me share my screen. Mm, all right. Mm. Hmm. See, uh, the idea is we are picking one resources. Okay, one resources, and the detail of these resources can be seen in the detail window about, uh, down here. Okay. So, we, what if you want to change the thing? Like, even if you want to change the unit, you have to change it right here. Okay, it will be updated here automatically. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so uh, like this, we have to add the resources that is given in the workbook. So, for each and every project, it is not mandatory that we have to add up to these resources. Okay. It is completely depend upon the activities that we have given in the project. Clear? Okay, okay, ma'am. Ma'am, oh. one, one doubt, ma'am. Uh, yes, the yes, maximum ma unit per time we are uh, putting as entering as a one D per D. Uh, it means that one days per day, ma'am. Uh, yes, yes. D stands for days, right? Yeah. Days, days. That is, uh, mm -hmm. for example, uh, for, here you can see uh, one day per day means one. It is not like one d per mm, how can i tell you okay here I you mean, can see of, yeah, uh, 100 units per day we, we used to say that but instead we are telling on un, 100 days per day or 100 d by d something yes like that. that means uh that means uh, per day uh, one architecture is there okay see? okay okay so here you can see two we can add two if it is uh, two here you can see edit two Income. Okay, this means okay. that two lay two architecture per day per one day. Okay. Okay. So one minute. Uh, if you are. Uh, okay. If you find it uh. A, difficult or any confusion you can switch that d off okay so that it will not be confused oh we can edit uh, okay okay yes okay. edit uh you can go to the user preferences okay. and just uncheck this unit of time show unit label right here you can uncheck these two so that the confusion will be gone second one Show duration label and show unit label. Okay. Yes, please uncheck this and close it. Okay. 
now here you can okay, see okay okay one per day and two per day okay yes that means architecture two day uh, per day will be the maximum okay if it is say uh, if uh, we need three architecture per day it ex it means that it exceed the maximum unit which okay. is equal to resource over allocation okay we are over using the resources okay 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 so that's the thing that's that is the meaning of maximum unit per charge yes. okay. we have to set a maximum unit of each and every resource then we have to work for our project if okay. uh, any over allocation happens it will be detected in the it will affect our entire project okay so which which means it leads to the over cost okay budget will be exceeded or time will be exceeded okay so we have to give the maximum uh, units per time clear yes ma'am okay so similarly we can add <coughs> the resources so by 1000 I have no need to enter everything, right? Uh, we can uh, do it for sample. Yes, uh, you can add. Uh, I'll tell you. You can add architect. Then you can add cement. One second. Now. Uh. Okay. And uh, what is the purpose of uh, you know add adding under the uh, uh, one resource? Uh, see, uh, when, when I add something, uh, it is coming under the uh, architect. and then we can uh, using the left button we can yes put it you can move update. see for example uh, under architect it may be uh, some other uh, labor like labor will be uh, under the architecture site supervisor may come under architect okay. in that case you can add it will come under that particular person right otherwise for material and uh, for known labors it will be not come under any other particular category Okay. okay. So for only labor, only labor we we can do that. Yes, yes. and if for example, if site supervisor want have to keep a check on per, some particular known labor, known labor or known resources, it may be come under that particular thing. For example, okay. uh, see this material. Okay, this material I am giving this is site supervisor. Yeah. second one sorry sir i'm going to do the site okay it's a labor so under one labor we can assign another labor okay yes And, we can uh, assign another labor if the site supervisor is responsible for the concrete back he can uh, we can make it under the site supervisor okay Yeah, that's the thing. That's the idea. And uh, okay, ma'am. Uh, okay. Clear. Yes. If you have any okay. doubt, please. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And we can add uh, any other uh, non-labor also, right, ma'am? Yes, yes, yes. Other uh, labor, we can assign any material. So uh, here, for this particular project, we no don't need to uh, put architecture or structural super uh, site supervisor under. You can. Okay. use this in the arrow and okay. make it as independent okay okay yes. so i'll add uh, cement and other materials okay okay you can add cement and as well as uh, excavator and mixture so okay. basically okay. we will be adding a uh, man and non labor and material okay, okay. Um, and here you can see for labor the simple like this, and for material it will be like this, and for known for equipment it will be a gear simple. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so I'll add. Uh, okay. See one. Mm, okay, ma'am. For a cement, I have to choose material. Okay, so if okay. I choose materials, uh, okay. what about maximum unit per time and the price per unit? Uh, 
here they have asked unit of measure they have assigned a minute mm. how to change that unit of measure man see go to details tab one second man. detail tab there you can uh, give the see details and unit of measure there you have to edit that so for example if it is packet you can add packet oh, okay packet okay. available one second man packet and how to one say search Wait, uh, we have to add that unit of measure mm. I'm searching, but no. it is not finding. We have to add that. Okay, so see here, you can add. Okay. Here you can see a uh, unit of mesh. Oh, uh, go to admin. Yes, ma'am. Admin categories. Yes. And here you can see units of measure. Okay. Then click add. Okay. And you can give the name. Well, for example, okay. yes, packet. PA and so similarly for every other unit you want to create you can create like this like this and okay. once you created that you can close it and come back to the detail window see for example for uh, I'll change it to cement yeah it is there available man once we created it is okay. similar cement and C1. okay okay it's changed man okay yeah. now a uh, detail window then search okay. backends and I say Okay, 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 okay. Yes, ma'am. So, so, so for every other materials, we need to do this uh, cubic meter, kg, liter, Q, everything, yes. ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Uh, fine. Yes. Primary role. What about the primary role, ma'am? How to assign that? Uh, uh, actually, hmm. primary role here, you can see. Mm, uh, Yeah, in the bottom roles. No, no, we have to come come back to the activities. Then only we can assign okay. the. Uh, okay. Thing. Okay. So okay. here you can see. Yes, so, uh, in previous class, uh, do you learn about the roles? Roles mean uh, what do you mean by ma'am? Uh, we uh, saw so what is. Organization breakdown structure. So similarly, uh, one minute. Uh, here you can see enterprise roles, yes, and here we have to add the role. Did you learn that? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, you didn't say anything about role. Okay, so okay. <laughs> oh, we need to do it initially uh, while uh, creating OBS and WBS, ma'am. No, uh, actually, yes. Uh, after resources, we will be adding roles. Okay. 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 So, in order to add role, what you have to do is go to enterprise and okay. here you can see roles. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And here you can find add. Yeah. And you can add some roles like uh, design engineer, design uh, draftsman, site engineer. Okay. So, here, there you can see some roles available. Okay. ID, okay, uh, man, but uh, in the organization breakdown structure, we have created like, uh, for every person involved in the project. Yes, we have created. Okay. And same that, thing we can create or we can create on our own? Like, same thing we can use. If you want to create another thing, you can add, just choose add. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. did you get this role box? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
and you can find the role id there right you have already created the, the i mean you are talking about the dialog box like the role yes uh, one minute let me let not uh, create let I me mean, see your screen one second one second okay so this like this design engineer so the just now i created now this one like adding okay you have to add the remaining like drafts man this is necessary when uh, we add the name okay for example uh, grishma i have assigned a role for grishma that is a material but so yeah. i have add see okay. there under resources i i have i can add a name person's name okay with okay. resource id but i want i have to specify the role of that particular neighbor so for that we are using the roles but in the uh, obs we have created right uh, organization oh, structure itself we have yes yes but that obs is completely for why we are creating obs that is organizational breakdown structure right okay, okay. now we are uh, concentrating on a particular activity if you remember uh, if you remember uh, we have first we have set up the eps so okay. then obs what is eps eps for example if a company is there for example uh, bim labs okay so bim labs have different divisions right so that company is called company and the hierarchy uh, is called eps right are you getting yes yes ma'am yes ma'am and uh, the managing director of the uh, thing or chief director or the responsible uh, let me show you one thing can i share yes ma'am you can share ma'am see this msr okay this is a eps msr builders is a company okay so in that is the main company inside msr builders we have msr construction and msr power okay so that is another two division of this particular main company and inside msr construction we will be uh, taking msr transportation and uh, msr building okay so in msr building the building type like residential building auditorium one story building villa project will be there and for bridge uh, and other uh, bridge road highway subway so that will be come under msr transportation okay so these are called eps right so yes, these eps will be handled by a particular uh, particular who Person. So, for example, MSO builders will be responsible for CEO. Okay, and MSO construction will be uh, managed by the head of the construction, MSO construction, and another person that is head of uh, MSO power will will be handling this MSO power. It's responsible. So, those person is called OBS. Okay, that is organizational breakdown structure. For example. in uh, in our college the main position will be for principal then vice principal then hod then staff advisor okay so that is the hierarchy so that is the example of obs okay now we are concentrating on a particular project and particular activity that activity will be handled by some of the person right so that is called role here that is the role here okay ma'am 
Okay. Ah yes, please. When I do that, I I think I will understand something. Uh, okay. When I create an assignment, then. Uh, I think it's uh, confusing right now. <laughs> yes, it's like. Okay. So uh, the main idea is OBS is created for the first time when we have added because uh, that is for the company setup. Okay. Now we are concentrating on project. Yeah. This OBS is for whole company, but yes. one company can have multiple projects at a time. So for each project, we are going to assign a particular person to that uh, activity. I mean, under some uh, uh, construction or transportation overhead, something uh, we are going to assign. So yes. using uh, this uh, role uh, option. See yes. that uh, uh, now we are concentrating on an auditorium project, right? So that auditorium project uh, will be handled by uh, four or five members. Okay. And that uh, people we have to consider for the auditorium. That doesn't mean that they will be responsible for the whole project that is coming under a particular company. Obvious is the is that they are not changed. The positions are not changing. Okay, obvious is uh, constant. Because, uh, yes, yeah, understood, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, for whole company, you are doing OBS, and for a particular project, you are doing uh, just roles. roles. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's the idea. Okay. Then in that case, we can assign the same people, right? Uh, same people we have created in the OBS. Yes, any, yes, we can any assign. Any one of the engineer, yes. Yes, no problem. Okay, we can okay. assign uh, that particular uh, person for this project. We can assign that. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So yes, uh, likewise, we have to go to the enterprise roles, enterprise roles, and we can add different roles. Okay. For example, new role, site supervisor is added, then design engineer is added, craftsman. Craftsman. Okay. That's not. Similarly, we can add a supervisor, site engineer. Okay. So once we have added the role, we can close it. And if you want to assay it, you can assay. Clear. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So once we done that, we can close it and uh, we can come to primary. Uh, no, how oh, can we? Here, oh, you can just select primary role from here. Okay. So keep in mind, you cannot do a uh, primary role. You can you cannot also assign primary role to material or non labor. You can only assign primary role to labor. Okay, only for labor we are going to assign roles. Yes, uh, and equipment also you can assign the primary role. You cannot assign to material. Okay, example for uh, equipment. For example, here you can see tower crane is an equipment or excavator. Here okay, you can see yes, ex excavator. Crane operator, we can assign crane operator or something. Yeah, no, excavator, mixture, it is no, an no, equipment, no, right? Tower crane, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, tower crane. Okay, that is the material, uh, that is considered as equipment or non labor thing okay so for non labor and labor we can add primary role we cannot add primary role for material okay yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so you have to uh, practice the workbook there are so many uh, resource name resource ids are available i have just uh, created one or two okay i hope it is clear Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, once now, I done that, uh, how to uh, next step, ma'am? Yes. To... Now, our next step is we have to link these resources with the activities. Okay. So, for that, you have to go to the activities tab again. One second, one second, ma'am. Okay. Uh, link to for go to activity tab. Okay. Okay. Now, here you can see uh, choose an activity, select yeah. an activity, and yeah. come to the resources tab here on the detail window yes ma'am and here here you can see add resource okay uh, add resource okay one second ma'am one second ma'am yes yes please 
okay add resource and uh, now we need to add the resource like yes just double that. click or you can use this as okay i'm assigning okay cement at the time you can assign so many resources for one activity okay 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 yeah site engineer yes ma'am i have assigned that similarly you have to check the uh, other for roof concrete if you want to add the material you can add resources and yeah can ma'am once can ma'am yes yes uh, duration is one day but what about this thing uh, why it is showing Ma'am, it's showing like eight per day. Why it is showing eight per day? That is minimum. Okay, we haven't edited. Okay, them. okay, okay. We have yeah. assigned the maximum unit per time as eight, eight, eight per day. So it is visible. If day. you haven't edited that, basically it will be eight per day. Okay. Okay, okay. And uh, what about the tick box one primary resource? Uh huh. So prime. Uh, here so primary we cannot uh, check primary resources tower crane why primary resources must be a labor we, oh. we cannot assign uh, equipment and material as primary resources okay okay every so, time uh, the resource primary resource will be labor not any yeah. other okay yes if uh, you have for a particular activity if there are two labors available you can check one of that okay okay ma'am okay Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, what about this option, ma'am? The bottom uh, add uh, add rule and assign by rule. Hmm. That is not necessary, necessary. because okay. we have we have already assigned uh, so the rules. So for similarly, we are we are going to do everything uh, for every activity. We are going to assign uh, resource like this. Yes. Okay. Now the next important thing is budgeted unit per units per time. Okay. It okay. will be um, budgeted cost and that. all thing are necessary so here you can see uh, activity resource we have to uh, just uh, here we have to just customize the column okay so in order to customize the column just right click and here you can see columns okay now i will add i'm going to switch all these option here I want activity ID, activity name. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So I um uh, yes. Which one, ma'am? Uh, which one I should add? Activity you have ID. to add budgeted. Uh, no, it is already there. Budgeted units. Okay. It is there, ma'am. Budgeted units, actual regular units, and remaining yearly units. Something. Okay, like it's that. there. Only budgeted is there, ma'am. Uh, what about other column? Uh, one minute. One minute. Mm. Planned cost. No, no, no. Don't no, you? Uh, you can just remove that. What is important is budgeted unit per time, budgeted units, and co budgeted cost. Oh, budgeted units per time is also important. Okay. Once again, once again, unit budgeted units, budgeted units. Okay, budgeted units per time, and the budgeted units is there. And what about budgeted next? units per next. time, budgeted cost? Budgeted cost. Ah, yes, ma'am. Budgeted cost and budgeted units. Yes, uh, budgeted cost, budgeted units, budgeted units per time. Everything is there. Okay. We don't need uh, remaining units and uh, actual regular units. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Budgeted units. One minute. And you can rearrange the uh, column. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah. i don't need remaining or original yeah. lag start finish but it is important but for the time being i am not going to choose this okay 
Once I have rearranged the column, you can just check, check OK. And here you can see. OK. OK. Now, uh, let me add a course for this particular activity. For example, OK. So in order to add the course uh, here, and I have to add a resources for that. Now let's schedule, okay. And, uh, that's it, ma'am. Uh, once we assign the resources. Once we have seen the resources, we have to set the price. One second, ma'am. We can go to activity tab, ma'am. Uh, can you go to okay. activity tab? So yes. there in the bottom tower green is the primary resource is not assigned. Uh, is it is it any issue or can leave Are it as this? The primary resource, ma'am. Primary, we cannot uh, assign this yeah, yeah. tower green. Is it okay, ma'am? It is okay, okay because uh, this it is not uh, mandatory, mandatory that we have to okay. we have to add primary resources for an activity it is not like that okay, if okay. the if an particular if a particular activity consists of material only we have to as, uh, leave it just like that okay okay so here here you can see yes ma'am i understood this so uh, did you get how we uh, calculated the budgeted cost no. That is budgeted unit into price per unit. Okay. But you do do price per unit. Price per unit is not uh, visible for me. Budgeted cost and budgeted units is there. Uh, but please uh, customize the column. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now get it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Price per unit and uh, one second. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So it will be the multiplication of this maximum it uh, unit, the price per unit, and the uh, budgeted unit okay it will be calculated now if you can see it will be calculated per hour okay so uh, based on this particular thing we will be getting the budgeted co cost automatically and if you have additional expenses what you have to do is apart from these resources and all maybe any manufacturing expenses or any travel expenses will be there so you have to add that in additional expenses there Okay, so now it is not there in your uh, your detailed tab. You have to customize the column. Okay, and here from here you can add the expenses. Once you have added this column, you can add the travel expenses or any other additional expenses over here. Okay, clear. Hello. Hello. Uh, ma'am, just a minute, ma'am. We have some network issues. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, fine, fine. Mm.
sorry ma'am yes ma'am okay thanks ma'am so i have mentioned about expenses okay so in addition to these charges if you have travel allowance or travel expenses or any manufacturing expenses you can add those detail in this expenses tab okay okay so if you cannot find this expenses tab over here you can customize the column right click and here you can find customize activity yes ma'am details and from here you can pick the expenses okay okay once you have picked that you can close it and add a new expenses it may be travel expenses or any additional expenses that occur during the construction okay uh, this is like what ma'am like uh, it's a overhead cost or uh, any other i uh, see uh, sometimes uh, our additional expenses will be there right uh, despite of being if we have a planned and budgeted cost available but this is apart from uh, direct cost like the material yes, labor sir. and uh, other yes, yes. costs associated okay yes okay, okay okay if you have additional expenses you have to add here okay so um, sometimes we exceed the estimated budget because of this additional expense so we have to point out this these two clear okay and this can be done while scheduling or uh, before i mean You know, be not before we usually we will be adding the additional expenses uh, when the construction is ongoing. Okay. Understood. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So you have to add that. Uh, one second, ma'am. Uh, what about this option? Like in resource, uh, there is a thing called a uh, detail. Uh, what is that thing, ma'am? Uh, Sorry. Detail. In resource uh, uh, activity, I mean resource tab. there is a thing in the bottom like details the details yeah, usually yeah. we will be adding uh, the unit of measure or currency for that detail particular detailing will be available in detail tab okay okay, okay. so for in general you can see in general what comes a uh, resource id resource name employee if you have employee id its email address it will be under general like this for code related thing if you want to assign a code for resources you can assign uh, in code tab okay similarly in case of a resource type and currency and its uh, the calendar if you are aware uh, we know that there are three types of calendar available in primavera that is global, global calendar and, uh, local lo uh, global yes project and resource calendar we okay. can make calendars only for resources okay so okay. if you are adding a resource calendar you can switch from here in the detail window okay so that's this the one the left hand, left hand side we have a resource type like labor non labor and materials yes um uh, we can choose this also right yes this also site okay. is cement oh we cannot choose or modify this one no? from here we don't able to uh, here it see it is assigned to a project that's why we cannot add the uh, we cannot modify it okay okay uh, if uh, see these tower cranes i have already added to the project okay once this added here we cannot modify from the detail tab this is uh, useful when uh, we are adding the new resources right so while adding or while modifying these resources we have to change it once we have added these resources to the activities we cannot modify the type of the resource okay sorry ma'am for the issue yes ma'am that is once we have linked these resources with activities we cannot modify the type of the resources okay okay ma'am we can go to next step ma'am we can okay i hope it's um, clear ma'am yes ma'am almost completed all the thing everything yes. so, so now so, the so. next thing is once we have completed all these things we can schedule it okay we can schedule and see how our work is going on or how our planning is going on okay so uh, and here you can see under status status tab you can if the construction activity is started uh, am i audible 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. See, uh, in here you can see eleventh uh, February the activity is started. Okay. So started and it is finished. So we can go to the status tab and we can update. That is, it is started and it is finished. The activity is finished. Okay. So likewise, we can update the status of each and every activities. Clear. Yes, so ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Day by day, we have to uh, update the status of the activities. Okay. Okay. So these are the things that is included in uh, planning stage of primavera. Clear. Okay. Okay. So now, if you want to export this thing, okay, how can you do that? Go to File, and here you can see Export. And you can export these details either in Primavera format or you can, if you want to get this detail in spreadsheet or Excel format, you can choose X spreadsheet. Uh, it, it is also supportable in Microsoft Project. Okay. So, or if you want to save it in XML format, what is XML? It is a kind of code. Okay. If you want to convert that in a code format, you can just choose this and click next. And here you can choose what are the things that you wanted to in include while exporting. Okay, so if you want activity, activity relationship, expenses, why, resources. Why do we need to export them? Because uh, in order to see in Navisworks, we have learned uh, how, how to, I think you remember the data sources, right? We have picked the Primavera detail in order to link with the Navis works. Or if you want to, if your client want to see these details in Excel, you have to export, right? Or if you, you want to share it to your uh, client or manager, you have to export this thing and you then you only you have to mail this. Okay. That's why we have to export this. See, in, I, I am going to export this in XML file, X, XML format, then next, and next, and here I'll select the file name. Okay, let me save it in my desktop, save. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So in Navisworks, we learned how to do the 4D simulation, right? So with the help of Primavera, I have explained with the help of Primavera uh, details also, we can use this 4D simulation. For that, you have to go to the data sources. And here we have add. Okay. So add. Um, so let me export it to csv format spreadsheet next and where is that csv format eh? once again hmm. sorry uh, where is that csv format man eh? how to uh... Uh, yes i'll i'll uh, tell you how we can do that
C. Here you can see CSB. Okay. That is, I hope it's clear. Uh, we have to export the primavera in uh, spreadsheet. Okay. In the format of spreadsheet. And we can click next and check all these things. Once he, we have done with this, we'll get a, a Excel sheet. Okay. You have to open that and go to file and export. And here you can see change file type. And from here, you can see the CSV file. Okay. So you have to select this and save. Ma'am, one second, ma'am. Ma'am, while doing that, uh, in the dialog box, it's showing like a uh, select a template. Sorry? In the dialog box, it's showing how select a template or something. Okay, show me. Okay, cancel it and do it again. From this part, ma'am. Okay, do, uh, don't you have uh, Excel with you? Which yes, version is Excel is you are using? Ah, uh, one second, I don't know. Which version? How to shift that uh, version part? You press an engine, okay. Uh, Is it 19 now? Yes, it is 2019. Uh, but export. I click this uh, showing this. Okay, click add. Yes, ma'am. There you have to. Uh, uh, add. Okay. Ah, uh, then click OK. So, if you want, okay. Now it, the template is added. Next. Okay. Save. Next. Finish. Okay. Close. Okay. Okay. Now you get it. Now, if you want to uh, see or if you want to use this data to Navisworks, you have to convert it to CSV format, right? Okay. So, export, export, export. export. Change file type, CSV. CSV. Yeah. Okay. Now, save it. Okay. okay, there you go. Uh, yes, ma'am. Now I should open, ma'am. So, yes, open. Uh, can I click this? No, it's can okay. I? You can open that. Okay. okay. It will take some time, I think. Uh, Oh, it will take some time, I think, uh, for my system. You okay. can show it uh, in your lab. Yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, here in Navis Works, mm -hmm. data source and CSV import. Okay. Then here you can see MSR project, and I'm not going to add any one of this. 
Jasmine. Jasmine. We need to choose that external field field name. Yes, yes. That is nothing. Go to data sources. First of all, you have to pick the timeliner. Okay. Okay. So timeliner is on. Then go to data sources. Then drop it the add down, yes, and here you can see CSV import. And there you have to choose the file. Open. Then you can add task name, task name, display ID, WBS ID, or task type. No need. The WBS ID. You want to add plan date, start date, and end date. End date. Okay. Okay. Now. It is not there, but you have you can refresh it. All data sources, and click OK. OK. And here you can see the activities there. Clear. One, one second, ma'am. Yes. Uh, ma'am, it is showing like. Uh, uh, please specify a column mapping for the synchronization uh, ID field. Can you share share your screen? One second, ma'am. This one. Okay. Close it. Uh, okay. Refresh. Delete this. Oh, okay. I'll import. Uh, so it is like this one. Synchronization ID is important. You have to come up. Synchronization ID. Oh, you have this to one. Now. Okay. Yes, yes. That is important. Okay. For no this matter. Video, Okay. No, uh, yes, WBS ID. No matter what, if we left other column, it's okay. But synchronization ID is very important. Okay. 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 Click OK. okay. Now refresh it. Okay. Okay. Now go to uh, click OK. Now go to task and you can find that. Okay. Okay. Clear? Uh, okay, okay. For the project, we need we can uh, do it in Navis work, and then we can go to Primavera. And uh, once we done that, we can feed the data here. Uh, okay. To know. Uh, no, that thing go like this. Uh, first of all, you want a Revit project. Okay, Revit okay. model. Okay. So uh, you have to take that Revit project, and then you have to create Primavera. Okay. Okay. So. You have to see here we have a uh, mechanical thing, electrical, structural. So your activity will be according to this project only. Okay. So pro uh, keep in mind that the 3D model should match the Primavera DJ. Okay. Okay. Then only we, uh, after completing these two, we can go to the Navis works and do the 4D simulation. Okay. 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 And clash detection also, we can do that. If any uh, clashes are uh, there or not, we have to do that. Okay. Okay. And we can see uh, that is up to 4D BIM. 4D BIM we have completed till NAMS works. And adding the course also, we can see the course details in NAMS works also. Okay. So 5D also there. And we have now kept scheduled, ma'am. Uh, scheduling process is not yet over, right? Yes, scheduling is over. Scheduling for, is over. For scheduling, just uh, we need to uh, select the activity and uh, we need to se select the status as started and finished. Oh, that tracking. I hope tracking is not there in the syllabus, right? Oh. It is not there. Oh, okay, I don't know, ma'am. Uh, I thought you will do that as a scheduling part because the in the left, I mean right hand side, the activities are left uh, as it is. Right, there is no connection between the activities. Because that's because you haven't add the relationship. That's why. Mm. No, we have assigned it right uh, in the. Yes. No. Uh, uh, 
there is no predecessor. Okay, keep the building. Please take the building needs and care, man. Yes, ma'am. Uh, over there, top, top. Yeah, ma'am. Ah, yes, ma'am. There, uh, there is no predecessor. It's the same, ma'am. Okay, successor. What about successor? It is automatically there. Successor is not there. Why? Don't know. Site information. One second, ma'am. Successor is not. Oh, successor is site information. It's uh, it's not uh, there actually. Okay. But what about rest of the activity? We have uh, saying the predecessor and successor. Then please uh, schedule. Go to schedule or fit F nine. This one, ma'am. Okay, schedule. Can I start? Schedule. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. See there some village. And please go uh, turn on your relationship line. Top there you can see calendar symbol, right? There, second. there. Yeah. Not that, not that. The left side. Come to the left side. You can see the calendar symbol, right? Yes, there, there. Oh, yes, one, two, th no, no. One, two, three, four, fifth one. Fifth one, please. Yes, this, this, uh, left side, left side. This Sorry, left, yeah, left side. One, two, th three, four, five, fifth one, fifth type. No, no. Fifth, no, no. no. This one, one, no, two, yes, one. three, four. No, 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 no. Not like that. One, two. Ah, this one. That, ah, that thing. That third one. You have just, ah, that. Gantt chart, man. Next to the Gantt chart. Okay. Activity network. Yes. Please on that. Okay. Okay, come back to the Gantt chart. Okay. This is relationship line here, ma'am. Yes, relation. Now you can see the relationship line, right? Ah, okay. And uh, in your project, it is uh, quite different, right? Uh, because uh, because my uh, see, have you entered the du original duration properly? Yes, ma'am. Duration. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, see, then, you gave the data, uh, so I entered us. Okay, come to the uh, Gantt chart. And just scroll, scroll in. No, no, over the left side okay. of your screen. Okay. Okay. Now here, there you can see the Mars uh, 13, something like that, right? Bring the cursor Mars. over there, and just try, uh, zoom. Just one click. Second. Yes. Which one? Then which you, one? Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so bring the cursor over this May 18. There, there, left side, left side. Sorry, right side, right side. Uh, top, top. Uh, yes, yeah, there you can see the magnification glass, right? Now, point. Okay. Should I click? Uh, yes, now zoom in. There is no zoom. Okay, one second. How to zoom? You couldn't do that. Uh, Just like... uh -huh. well, when I click that thing happening. No, ma'am. Uh, I actually click this one. See. Uh... Now your Gantt chart is disappeared, right? Now what will you do? Which one, ma'am? No. If your Gantt chart is di uh, disappear, you can just double click on the center of the Gantt chart. Gantt chart. OK, double click. Center of this one, ma'am? Yeah. Just double click. Yes, double click there. Yes, ma'am. No, I'll show you. Uh, okay, see here, you can see the Gantt chart, right? If it is, when you move like this, you can see your Gantt chart a little bit easier, okay? Now, if your view is low, so if you couldn't see your Gantt chart properly, you have to bring your cursor somewhere around here and just double click over here. 
and here now you can see it in the center okay see if you miss your view what you can do just bring the cursor over here and double click okay clear okay okay ma'am ma'am uh, how, how, how do you get that the two line ma two boxes okay uh, this is the baseline okay actually this baseline is uh, for tracking the project so um, okay let me show you how to do that it is actually not in the uh, syllabus but we can learn okay so we have end up with how to plan the activities okay so in order to track this activity we have to maintain a baseline so baseline for maintaining the baseline i hope it my audio is audible i am audible right yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so here um, So first of all, go to a uh, project, and here you can see maintain baseline. Okay. So first of all, you have to click that, and here you can see this this new thing. Okay. This direct. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And here you can click add. Okay. And once you get this, you can save a copy of the current project as a new baseline. Click OK. And you will get this one. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Now close it. Now again go to menu bar, uh, project, and here you can see a same baseline. Okay. Okay, I want to see see your screen. Yes. All right, there uh, you can choose the project baseline. Change that that uh, top uh, to the first one. Okay, primary. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Shall I click OK? Ah, click OK. Okay. Now, uh, can chat. Can chat. Right. No, 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 no. Right click, can chat. Where, ma'am? Okay, bars, bars, take bars. Bar. And you can check uh, one minute that primary baseline. Check the primary baseline. Primary baseline. Top, top, top. Ah, third one, third one, third one. Ah, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, check this option. Then click OK. Okay. Apply, apply, and OK. Apply mm -hmm. and OK. And OK. Yes. Okay. And, but here you cannot see it more. Uh, the thickness is very less, right? Okay. Uh, what so, does you know, what does it mean? Uh, we are setting primary baseline for what purpose? And yeah, I will tell you. I will tell you. But you cannot see the baseline more clearly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. So just right click yeah. bars. Okay. And here you can change the thickness oh, okay, down okay, there. Okay, okay. Now click yes. OK. Yes, okay. Now we have set the baseline. Now what is the purpose of this baseline? This baseline is actually help us to uh, okay. help us to uh, see the progress of how the work is progressing. Okay. Otherwise, uh, we can track the project. For example, it is not necessary that our project will be moving according to our planning, right? So if maybe, one minute, let me share my screen. OK, so.
so it is not mandatory that uh, our project will be move according to our plan uh, due to some reasons for example weather crisis or some other delay we cannot uh, our project will be delayed other than the um, estimated duration right so in that cases for example we have set the baseline right now now what you have to do is you have you can just change the start date okay so for example i am going to change the start date of this particular activity this 9th february to actually i was planning to start on 9th february but i have end up with 11th february okay and click okay now, uh, if sorry ma'am if suppose uh, in the plan duration will be 9th february but in actual you are saying it is 11th right yes yes okay you can share your screen i think that is more better okay there uh, there okay for in case administrative and that third one that fourth one okay it is intent to start on 8 march right so just try to change that to 10th march yes now schedule now do the schedule what happened the baseline is still there on 8 march but the activity is shifted to 10th march right this this help us to compare the actual versus the planned one okay which is a part of tracking of the project we can track the delay how the delay occur or how is our uh, project go on ongoing okay so i hope you know what is this red and this uh, green block indicates red block indicates the critical, critical path okay. yes and the uh, green indicates the we can move in, it is not a critical, critical path yeah, okay. okay so uh, did you get the idea yes ma'am yes ma'am okay but uh, if, for example if you do the i mean change the duration or the date in the start under start uh, duration we don't know right uh, 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 plan to start See, uh, planning Actually. is over okay planning is over and we have set the baseline also okay okay now okay. next come tracking tracking only occurs when, uh, after construction or during construction we can track our progress so for example uh, today is 12th 12th march okay and i have a activity for doing in 12th march but due to some rain or weather condition i cannot move with that activity so what project manager will do project manager will update the next uh, schedule right update the schedule and the baseline will be there Base, baseline means we have planned to start the project on that day but we due to this crisis we have changed the or there is delay occurred and the complete project will be delayed so okay. this this is only for checking tracking the project or we can just uh, compare the actual versus the planned one okay clear yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so that is the use of baseline so in uh, primary in this navis works and synchro synchro is an advanced project management tool okay so in synchro what we will do is we just need a simple 3d model okay if we have that 3d model we can automatically uh, do this primavera we can uh, it is not mandatory that we have to uh, type this we in, here in primavera we are typing this whole thing right but in advanced uh, planning software or plan like synchro it is not we if you have a model we can extract the uh, details from that model itself okay 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 yeah so that's it any doubt uh, no ma'am uh, one, one second ma'am okay uh,
uh, i know it will be difficult for you to follow two faculty because yes, even yes, i am stuck yeah because yeah. even i am stuck because uh, they uh, i didn't know that it is okay if i am teaching you from the beginning uh, understood ma'am only the uh, scheduling part is quite uh, you know confusing or couldn't able to yeah. maybe once we practice we can able to uh, at least try yeah 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 and if you have any doubt then please let me know if if uh, you are not following me then you can uh, ask vishnu also i think vishnu uh, is the faculty the, who you, you started no, the no, not vishnu ma'am vishnu vishnu yeah yeah vishnu yes yes so you can ask him or me you can contact me any time if you have any doubt okay so actually i was little bit uh, i don't know where he stopped the thing whole thing and which project you are doing i don't uh, i didn't have that idea that's why it's quite i know but i have given my maximum <laughs> still you you can ask me question okay no worries no ma'am uh, understood uh, only part is we need to practice you know? then you okay, can please do practice it uh, otherwise it is do you have any workbook apart from that uh, document no any other thing yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, I can share you. I'll talk with the management team and share you the uh, okay. document. Okay. Okay. Is it is it possible? You can also uh, uh, try to share that Navis work, ma'am. But uh, yesterday, I mean, last class, you take you took, I think, Navis work. Yes, yes. Navis works. I'll uh, share. That also but... in the last part also uh, we need. Uh, if it is, if you have any notes or any material to uh, refer, uh, I... it will be easy, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? Uh, Navis works. We have first we have to learn the clash detection. Then we will be moving to the 4D simulation. Okay. So it it do have some uh, you know some sequence to learn Navis works. So um, I I know it's just very limited. But yes. Yes. Hopefully, uh, in future we may arrange any new session so that we can get well with it. Okay. so it is actually it is an interesting software you have to move according to the sequence of this activity but uh, yeah i'll um i'll refer the document of if in case if i have any doubt uh, if any one of the faculty have doubt can i uh, contact you or any other no you can contact me i hope you do have my number right yeah yes ma'am yes ma'am yes you can contact me anytime okay i'll it is happy to help you